Excessive heat, changing water levels, and a lot of debris. Those are the challenges firefighters they're facing now on day three of the search for two men who dove into a drainage ditch trying to save a 10-year-old boy. Their bodies have not yet been found. Sam Kramer live along the Kinnikinnick River for us tonight. And Sam, the fire chief, says tonight's storms could actually help by tomorrow. Yeah, man, that is at least the hope for Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky. He says that rain that is headed our way could actually force a lot of water and thus a lot of pressure into the river and the drainage system, which ultimately flows here right into Lake Michigan. In doing so, that could really free up some of that debris that's underneath the water. He's hoping that will help to actually bring these two men home. And at the same time, we got to look at the efforts to actually help firefighters on this search, what has really become an intense search. Under different circumstances, a boat ride along the Kinnikinnick River Wednesday would be a peaceful trip on a hot late spring day. Instead, firefighters continue to scan the route from 31st in Kinnikinnick all the way to Lake Michigan in search of two men who've been missing since Monday. We are doing everything we can using every resource available to us. Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky says his team traveled the route four times Wednesday. They walked, used boats, sonar technology, and drones. Each time, Lipsky says their perceptions changed due to water levels. The bottom of the river is very irregular and there's a lot of snag points. Rushing water, tremendous amount of pressure with it, puts speed on objects. Something that was in one spot yesterday could easily have dislodged and moved to a, a different spot. What has stayed in one spot is the incident command post near First and Beecher and right next to it, the Milwaukee Firebell Club answered the call providing refuge for firefighters. When they come back from their tour on, on the search, they're pretty well exhausted. This mobile home turned rescue unit has air conditioning, fans and fridges with cold drinks and snacks as the nonprofit aims to protect those who protect us just as it has for 75 years. I think it's very important. I think you know it shows that Milwaukee is a very welcoming city and willing to help out people when they when they need help. Now, when I asked in an afternoon press conference, Lipsky said his plan for tonight was to have crews operating at least until dusk or until they got rained on. We're just starting to feel some of that wind coming. They, we really haven't seen any of those fire rescue boats out here for the better part of an hour, maybe an hour and a half. He says they will be back here tomorrow as conditions allow. We're live tonight in Milwaukee, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Hopefully this ends tomorrow. Sam, thanks.